Um, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, uh, Carl on line one. I wanted to talk about this. I got I got wind of this over the weekend. Hi, Carl. What's up? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm a fat, bloated attorney, but now I'm nothing more than a shriveled up, penniless, skinny piece of shit. Wow. All right. Right on the money. <laughs> An invitation. I read the article. The first thing I thought about was Anthony. I said, oh, good. This fat fuck, now he's got no money. I'm addicted to Vicodin. So I thought you'd get a little yeah. bit out of that. Yeah, he's trying, to, he's trying to get sympathy, I think. Good luck. I'm going to guess Dominic Barbara. Dominic Barbara. Yeah, okay. Dominic Barbara. Good. Uh, the attorney who represented my wife. <laughs> uh, he um, apparently is broke, lost his houses, and is now staying with friends. And occasionally he was, uh, I guess, in the uh, Garden City Hotel. Uh, for a little while through friends and, and uh, former clients that gave him a little bit of money to stay there. But now he's staying probably with people friend. living. Yeah, former clients that are probably living off other people's fucking yeah, earnings. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, yeah, you, you want to take some. I didn't earn this either. Yep. His, uh, he's been suspended as far as his uh, law practice Oh, really? Goes. Yeah. Oh, good. And they're looking into even more uh, charges against him for misappropriation of funds. And uh, good. I guess he's got a contempt charge against them also. He didn't pay attention to a restraining order against one of his wives. He contacted her, so they're looking into that. Uh, he had this big house out uh, on eastern Long Island, right by the water, and uh, it, it's in foreclosure, and they have pictures of it. It's just a mess. All of his shit's everywhere. There's like a coffee cup on the table with a B on it, Barbara, <laughs> and, and, and like all his shit there, this big... The B is for bum. <laughs> for bum. You... Are a boom. Oh, you got. Uh, you want to hear him talking about audio? himself yes, in the third please, person? Please, uh, oh. let, before you play it, let me just say from what I've gotten from the article, this guy wants it to sound like you know he found himself. He's apparently born again, oh. uh, and and he realizes how stupid he was. Uh, but in the same article, the guy talks about how he popped in a video of when he was on TV and looked at it like longingly and. Kind of, he's still a self-centered. Yeah, I mean, he wants I, to be famous. Yeah. I, I barely play this. I just previewed it just to make sure, like it was the right clip, you know. Yeah. And he spoke for I don't know four seconds, and I was already like, "This guy's a fucking asshole." <laughs> yeah, yeah. It says Dominic Barbara from wow. brash to broke sees comeback. Yeah, what's, I'm really uh... looking just to be happy, to be able to enjoy. You know, Dominic never really was happy. Uh... <laughs> he had five homes. But if you ever sat down to him and said, are you happy? He'd say no. I was obese. I was so fat that I wore 62 he rocked, turn pants. He rocked turning mic off. I wore 37 <laughs> and I'm having shoulders. So I would have lost. Can you rewind that? I just <laughs> laughed over it. <laughs> <laughs> was it, it by, by the way, folks, that's not Iraq. That's Dominic. Uh, Dominic. Uh, still still chatting. Just <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> so I would have lost total 160 pounds. I invented something with a doctor, which is a supplement called Fat No More. I'm doing this to help people, because I know how miserable I was at uh, 235 pounds. so full of shit. The, uh, addiction to food, spending, um, from wanting to kill myself, I want to oh. have a new life. I know how good I feel when I walk and how I feel about myself, and I want to give this to people. I want to give it to them. Unfortunately, it's not AIDS. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, he's, it's hard not to hate him because uh, just he's a divorce lawyer, and those guys just uh, are typically scummy. This guy got what is called a comeuppance. Yeah, uh, he he was um, what a what a prick. Yeah, this guy was uh, so condescending to everybody, in love with himself, with fame, and um, just would do anything to to hold on to it, and. Uh, J not not an honorable man. Do you give yourself like a, a quick yes? Like every time there's something in the paper. Oh yes! <laughs> like I just saw... watching that video, you just something that just snaps in the back of your head. Yes. Yeah. 
I saw his, uh, the pictures of his, his house, uh, and I just I was like, I, I just want to buy it. Dude. I just want to buy it from the bank <laughs> and just fucking... How much is it? Burn it down. I don't even know. It's in foreclosure. I, I, you want to buy it and then just use every room as an open-air toilet. <laughs> <laughs> he spent $4 million on a house, and he's just been, hey. for the last spent th three years, piling up duty on the floor in every room. <laughs> oh, is it like a like an east side of Detroit's house, uh, house <laughs> yeah. where they just ditch bodies there? Yeah, you just, just have a big sign of this expressway bathroom. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody take dumps on the floor and tinkle. <laughs> <laughs> fucking uh, terrible. Yeah, I, I it's Shelter understand. Island, is it? Yeah. Can you, like, somebody who makes their living busting people's balls yeah. and making sure that everything is in order, and if it's not, they try to take everything, to not be double-checking yourself. Did he lose uh, it yeah. in a divorce? What uh, happened to him? Well, he a lot of his money went into d his own divorces. Uh, How many marriages? I think four. What an idiot. Something like four fucking marriages. But uh, also, he, I guess he just blew through a lot of fucking money. He said he was driving Bentleys and parking them illegally because I just thought I could. I was, I was that kind of guy. I, uh, he is a real fool. He makes he a is. living making sure that people kind of live up to the consequences of their actions or whatever right. oh. and like every single consequence you could possibly imagine and he's like he is unaware that he's a person too yeah yeah he you know was what I just mean? you know what he 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 was on stern's show for forever is he still going on or no I get. He actually said he's he's going to try selling this fat no more <laughs> which by the way I thought he had a fucking lap band put in and didn't lose the weight with fucking uh, drugs, but did he? Hey, hey, wow, that's what I heard. Oh, uh, and and then he's talking about how he's going to sell this fucking amphetamine, <laughs> and uh, and uh, that his friend Howard's going to let him promote it on his show. Oh. Really? Don't we have? Didn't we have a problem when comedians wanted to talk about their gigs on the show at one point without them, you know, getting paid for it? Dominic's just going to come in and start doing uh, commercials for his. Fat no more product. It's a different universe. Yeah, it certainly is. <laughs> he still thinks he's not on the same level as people. Yes, like that's why he's, he's all full of sh he's full of shit when he says, you know, oh, I, I hit bottom and I realize now what an ass I was. You know, like when he said Dominic was never happy. <laughs> uh, anybody that talks about themselves, Jim hates uh, that. Jimmy really likes you. Yeah. Yeah, but see, when Jim does it, it's it's actually one of his other personalities talking, yeah, so it's exactly. valid. Chippa. <laughs> Jerry doesn't like that. <laughs> Jerry who? I don't want to oh, say it. Right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he really is a tool, this guy. Yeah, I. Uh, and it's so hard not to revel in someone's um, misfortune when they've been such an insufferable prick. But do you try? Uh... Do you actually try not to revel in it? You know what the answer would be? Uh, no, I don't even try. Right, so that's and why it's difficult because but you enjoy it. But dude, I'm reveling in it, and it's it's just yeah. for you. Like I, he didn't do anything to me, and I'm happy to see him suffer because he was fucking shitty to you. As person A looking at person B going through shit, there's a part of you that doesn't want to revel in it because there, but for the grace of God, go I, as they say. Sure, but. As uh, Anthony Cumia looking at Dominic Barbara, uh, I can't help but um, just hope it gets oh so much worse for him because uh, he, he's fucking. It's like I like so I like to see him, you know, in, in his little failures like this because mm -hmm. of what happened with you guys. But at the same time, it's more it's more so like the not the divorce, but that the fact that he came up to you afterwards and tried to be nice. Oh yeah, and like that was the part that bugged me more so than like rep like. You know, if he's representing your ex-wife or whatever, that's just he's doing Business. his job or whatever. But to come up after the fact, but uh, to the, uh, that to was me, yeah. that was like holy fuck, what an asshole. To me, it transcended just strictly business. The guy took took pleasure in taunting the people that um, he was up against, and uh, with me, it was every time I was in the court building, he would show up and just be like, Anthony, hey, how are you? Hey, like it was, a, and, and it. He knew what he was doing. Yeah, I remember there was some. This isn't fucking. There was some running in Atlantic City. Atlantic yeah, City yeah, too. I was eating at one of the restaurants there or some shit, and he was walking by and he goes, "Hey, how you doing? What's going on?" I was just like, Dominic, I'm eating. Could you, could you fucking? Just I just leave? don't understand how he expects your response to be pleasant. Like, he's like, "Oh, what's the matter? What's a, what's the matter?" Or lots just, of money. Is he such a, or, or as a, are divorce attorneys just such vultures that to them it's nothing personal? 
Like, to them, is it like uh, almost like the way radio guys look at a market? Like, mm. hey, you were on in the afternoons in Philly. Now we're in the afternoon and you're in the morning. Like, it's not personal. Yeah, I, I That's oh, how boy. I think lawyers can be such fucking vultures because they can look at it like that. Uh, for Psychotic. Them, for them to not know that the layman uh, cannot stand you yeah. is a little, you know, a little out there. But yeah. now he, he, it was a tactic of his. I was. Yeah, he knew it was just an awful fucking, like, fuck you thing to do. In the court, he'd always be like, yeah, do, do an impression of me. Go ahead. And then he'd turn to other people. Listen to this. Uh, I'd be, I'd would be you like, do I'm it? Not, no. I'd be like, I'm not a performing seal here for you, Dominic. Yeah. Well, he's Get to the fucking point. I mean, he's sociopathic. Any lawyer, if you're a lawyer, and a lot of lawyers are like that, but any lawyer who doesn't think that their actions have consequences. Yeah. Look yeah. that you're, you're a lawyer. Yeah. Of course. You know consequences of actions. Exactly. I mean, he knew... The, the case as good as anyone uh, as far as my wife w what what she did or didn't have to do with my career uh, and instead of you know and, and I know it's his job to do that I'm not that stupid I know it's his job but then don't turn around like you're just doing your job to me yeah, yeah I know you you knew that she didn't have anything to do with where I ended up in radio yet you preach the fact that she should be a partner in this and you know, uh, and I was just like, you're a fucking prick. You're lying about uh, the impact she had on, on my career. And it's costing me a lot of fucking money. And uh, he made a lot of money from it. They have the ability. And it's like they are just doing their jobs. But this is what why they're hateable lawyers. Because mm. they have the ability to turn off or to ignore that part of them where they know something is garbage or dishonest. Right. And, and it's like, you know... Much more serious case. You look at the prosecutors right. and how, when a case, when they deep down know in their guts, wow, this was a bad conviction, they still fight it when because they, they don't want to lose evidence. the conviction. When they want to block evidence that's obvious and it will exonerate somebody, and they don't, and they try their best to keep it out. Why would you do that? Isn't isn't the the uh, job supposed to be to find the truth? I know that's kind of no, but silly, is. but. Uh, but yeah, to to then fight to keep that out, it's a scumbaggy thing to do. There was a there was a guy who's uh, this is off the subject, but it's kind of about being going to jail. Did you read the one? This guy turned himself in um, for he licked the vagina of a four month old baby. Like he was watching porn. <laughs> Jesus, oh. I got Twitter this. He, and he was like twenty five. This guy and he turned himself in in like Kansas City, I think it was, and uh, he got life in prison. Wow. Which I was, uh, I thought that was kind of harsh because he turned himself in. Why? Why did he turn himself? I in? I don't know. I don't know. Because he's oh. dumb. <laughs> but <laughs> I no, know, I, I knew that was. Coming. That's not to do with lawyers, really. Uh, but this wow. guy turned himself in, and he just—it's not like he fucked the kid. It was, which Jesus. I don't mean to differentiate between, but I mean you know. He was watching oh, no. porno and. <laughs> I, 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 what motivation to do that? Something. I don't know. There's something deep and psychological. Oh, but doesn't God. that kind of. Isn't that kind of a deterrent from other people? Eh, maybe not, because if you oh, confess murder, you something. go to jail for murder. Well, you yeah, know what? If you, if you confess rape, you go to jail for rape. Eh, yeah. That's true. What a, what a dunce. <laughs> what a ghoul. <laughs> wow, that yeah. is bad. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, lawyers and people, especially like Dominic, I, I had firsthand contact with like that. Yeah. Uh, and he, he was always more interested in what he was doing outside of the law firm. He'd be talking to the judge and other attorneys about his TV show that he he had going on and his appearances on radio and and all that shit. And meanwhile, you know, my fucking life is is hanging in the balance he, he, as far as uh, you know finances going. He's sitting in a courtroom with zero empathy for you to the point where he's taking your money and then asking you to do impressions. Yes. And then now he's putting out videos where it's like, don't you people care whether or not I'm happy? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you're gonna like you're gonna sit there and be like, oh, I hope Dominic is. Feeling happy. How insane is that? Just a narcissist. That's all. Yeah, Just yeah. a typical fucking nar narcissist. He honestly thinks people will watch that and go like, "Ah, he wasn't yeah. happy. I'm sorry to hear oh, that." Oh man, he really needs to be happy. He's done so much for people. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> well, he's suffering. Yes, he's and you suffering. Think, you think he'd have ironclad fucking 
Prenups. Oh no, of he's course. constantly <laughs> and he's about to get married again. Yeah, yeah, he's really? got another fiance. What a dummy! <laughs> who um, and talk about him. talk about somebody who doesn't understand consequences, right? Oh. You're going to get married for the fourth time. What's wrong with you? Keeps repeating the same mistake over and over again. I remember his last. I'm pretty sure it was his last wife. If it wasn't the one before that, but his last wife was his law firm. Like worked at his law firm, whether she was a partner or not. But she, I remember when she used to come wheeling in with the the little fucking hand truck full of those lawyer cardboard file boxes stacked up and it was my fucking case and they'd come wheeling in and I, every box i'm looking at i'm thinking how much fucking money that shit cost me yeah <laughs> because like that i was paying for all that shit all that shit here could you fuck me and I'll buy the dildo. That's pretty much what the fuck it was. How, how do you justify that? I'll, I'll pay for a fresh one each time. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll bet you half of those boxes have nonsense in them. I think they're like and I'll yeah, bet you it's empty. an intimidation thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Like sometimes when profilers say. want to ca catch a serial killer, they line up evidence in the room and they sit him down. They, yeah. they, they have such a mountain of images and stuff that it just overwhelms them and I bet you that that's what that is. My sister used to have to do some shit at work. She uh, she was in retail and stuff and uh, she would bust the people for stealing on the job and have to confront them and she would have a folder with papers in it and she'd sit them down and talk and put the folder on the table and, and when she talked about uh, what they did and uh, how how they got caught? She would tap on the folder like like the info's right here without saying the info's right here. But the people would look at the folder and think, "This God, there's a mountain of evidence against yeah. me." There must have been what evidence could there be that just happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was uh, like the cases that would build up, not just like I caught you shoplifting. It was like loss prevention where. They'd have cameras and oh, they oh, oh, have oh, like okay. receipts and evidence, and then finally confront the person after they put a little case together. But, but they would actually have a case together, wouldn't they? Uh, yeah, but sometimes they wouldn't have that evidence they would need or, or uh, that much evidence. Uh, they knew something was amiss. But then Donna would just go in there with the dumb folder, her empty folder. And of course, I would goof on her about the empty folder. <laughs> <laughs> Call it stupid, but I guess she caught people with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, those, those boxes probably were fucking empty. Yeah. Half of them. Intimidate. And then my lawyer, what a prize he was. He'd come in with, like, like I used to come into fucking history class. You got a pencil and paper? <laughs> Ladies and g g gentlemen of the jury. <laughs> oh, my He's discount good. lawyer. <laughs> Oh you to, God! You have to rip them out of page. The spiral notebook things are still on the side of it because yeah, you yeah. ripped them out of page from your notebook. Uh, what is this? <laughs> oh, was Dominic sorry. an hour? Oh, I back in two thousand or whatever it, it was. was it was him. His fucking paralegals would make a certain amount. His uh, assistants would make a certain amount. It was terrible. Oh, look at. Did you pay more than forty thousand for her lawyer? Do you think total? Uh, <laughs> well, oh really? Oh yeah. no! More oh, importantly, no. who is more expensive? Her lawyer that you paid for or your personal attorney? I paid so much more to have her lawyer fuck oh, me oh. than I paid to stop being fucked. Oh. Yes. That I, was a terrible investment. It was. <laughs> that was the wrong way to use money. Why'd investment. you get her a good lawyer, Ant? What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. There should. I, I don't understand how that works. You definitely should have traded lawyers at some point if you're paying for both of them. I immediately, the second this thing was even conceived of, the first thing they did in court was decide how much I had to give her every month, how much I just had to give her. Uh, and that was a figure, a dollar amount, which was a lot. And above and beyond that, I still had to pay for her lawyer. Like, shouldn't it come out now she's making, that's her income. She should have to spend that on her lawyer. Her lawyer. lawyer. But now I got to pay also the lawyer. It doesn't make sense how, how at did, all. How did, how, could you have fought that? I mean, it would have cost you more to fight of it, though. Of course I could have fought it until it went to trial and everything. It, it went so long, and it was taking up so much of my time, energy, sanity, health, and money that I just decided I have to stop this and settle out. How happy were you that you had faked orgasms and not had any kids? Oh! <laughs> Genius. I loved it that I never had that child she wanted oh so bad. You would have owed a lot more money in oh everything the kid needed. I'd still be like with when, her at some point. When did she want the kid? Like what what year? Early nineties. So that kid would be 
20. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> You'd see her at all the events, though. Like, everything that was mother... The graduations, the oh. fucking wedding someday. Oh, yeah. I would have to fucking actually Forever. have an interaction. Yeah. You'd oh, be talking with... to your kid, and he'd be like, Oh, Mom was saying that... Yeah, he said, oh. could you help Mom out? Or, yeah. you know, oh, she's... no! Would you have it, like, every other weekend? Like, that's gonna affect compound oh, parties and I stuff. I would have to do that. <laughs> he'd be like, how come Mom is so mad at you for blah, 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 and you'd be still... Still dealing with it. Uh, yeah, say, look, I said, the, uh, yeah, Fishman's right. The kid would be at my fucking house all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to go house. to this Do Donnie Darko universe and check this out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it would be See, it would that would have been like, oh, that would stink. <laughs> yeah, hey, Dad, hey, Ma, how come Dad always says, refers to you as the cunt when he was, when he was <laughs> H? <laughs> Mama, what's a cunt? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'd be, oh yeah. Well, I could hear the stories like, oh yeah, dad, yeah. I'd be like, oh, so how's how's your mother doing? Yeah, uh, well, she came in last night. It was pretty loud. Was kind of bumping into things. Uh, Do you ever think uh, that if uh, you didn't get divorced and this radio thing didn't happen, you would just be uh, the parents from Natural Born Killers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna come up there later to see how clean y'all. Uh, oh, a Rodney, that was a great Rodney role. Yeah. That was amazing. Go I upstairs and get clean oh. for Daddy. <laughs> it was I, so creepy. Oh, that was really bad. Was I don't know what I'd be doing. Uh, it would suck though. It would have sucked to have to still have been have any contact with that woman whatsoever, oh. whatsoever. I've I've just heard little inklings in the past fucking forever that. Let me know, like, kind of what she's doing at a moment's notice. Last thing I heard was someone said, yeah, I saw her coming out of a bar and hopping on the back of some biker's bike and speeding off. I'm like, and great, that's did all. Did you like. immediately put your fingers in your ears and start going, la, 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 la. No, Were you jealous? Pretty, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's my girl. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing, huh? My aunt went home and beat off to it like a yeah. couple. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. If I beat off to the idea of the bike getting hit by a tractor trailer. <laughs> Uh, just, uh, uh, just awful. I can't believe though that you had that you had to pay that much money, and there weren't even any kids. No kids. No house. There wasn't no, even. No, there was no property. There was nothing but Dominic Barbara wow. saying that I had future potential earnings of millions upon millions of dollars. It's a terrible scenario to receive a nice compliment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. It was so bad sitting there and hearing him just going off about what she did and how she nurtured my career. Just how that did, but and, she could take that money and not have to pay you back that 40 grand or whatever it was. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, How yeah. do people get away with that? You're right. It's all a fucking, it's a system. It's A and yep. B and C and there's no, you thought it was going to be all like arguing real points, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. May the, the best the man delusion. Win. The delusions you have because of television of what it's supposed to be. Like, like, oh, they, they argue about, it. and I, I'm like, I, I know this. It's great. I, uh, the divorce proceedings started before I signed a big contract. I was making uh, okay money at WNEW, but nowhere near with the next contract I had signed. So she wasn't even with me during the time I signed that contract. But they, they push this future potential earning shit at me, and how that's an uh, that is an equity. Just as property is and everything else, that's a, a thing. That's a, a, a marital asset that they can split up. The idea that perhaps it's like, and in radio, stop it. It could be over in a second by saying fucking, you know, the, 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 go have sex in a church. But why do they say that potential earnings is guaranteed earnings? Exactly. That was, that was my lawyer's argument. <laughs> Maybe he brought the paper with him that set it on it. You should have sabotaged your career just to spite her. It uh, well, Aunt, you did get called out on cheating and went to a private room to settle. Well, that did kind of happen. My first fucking five minutes on the stand during the beginning of the whole thing, I was just like, "All right, this is it. I've had it. <laughs> a settle, settle. Let's really? talk." Like, even though, like, in that situation, mm. the fact that she was involved with it for a while, I know. I think I think that would bode well for you. The worst part, though, was the fact that the the postponements and Dominic. What he would do is we'd set a court date. I'd have to like whatever drop everything to be there, and I'd go there, and then he'd walk up and postpone it for another three months, 
And then I'd be, I'd be like, I thought today was going to be like, we're going to start and things are going to get going and just wore me down. They do. That's why they do it. It went years. And, and, and then my dumb lawyer trying to go to the judge and just say, look, what the fuck are you doing? Get, let's get this shit moving. Oh, well, wow, well, things happen. And they, they just, most of it wasn't even arguing the case or the marriage or anything. It was just arguing like when we would come back under what circumstances who had to be there. It, was, it had nothing to do with the, the actual meat of the whole thing. And years were going by, and I was just spending so much money for her lawyer, my lawyer, all this bullshit that I f finally, when I hit the stand, and he was like, what, what's the date of your anniversary? And I was like, ah, oh, well, I don't know. It was March 19th. And it was like, oh, it was May 19th. It's like, oh, March was Swallow's Day in Capistrano. It was a much more important day. <laughs> than my fucking marriage. So, uh, and, and then he started bringing up other things. And I see the New York Post and Daily News are in the little gallery and they're jotting stuff down. I'm just like, I've had it. So I took her into one of the fucking chat rooms there and, and told her, uh, you know, I, I want to settle this. Be realistic. But then you had a terrible lawyer, so it's like... Exactly. So the settlement was even a fucking disaster. Yeah, whatever, whatever they want. How well. long after that did you settle? When you brought her into that room, how long did it take? God, another fucking couple of months. Oh, really? To settle it? Terrible, yes, because they just kept trying to did get more. Do you know what my lawyer's big win was for me? What? That if I died, I still didn't have to pay her. They wanted <laughs> that. They wanted it in a settlement that said if I died, my estate would still have to pay her out. So your lawyer goes to you, don't worry, though. If you die... I'm on this. Don't good. worry. Yeah, you're, you're good. You're I'm good. I'm on this. You're good. You're Thanks. right, though, about the movies and everything. Because I assume uh, that literally you leave the courtroom and you go into the room to settle. And then that's the last day. You're done. Yeah. That day you settle. Nope. They go, oh, we're going to settle. And then uh, there's some kind of agreement to settle. Uh, and then you, you go through all the shit that what, what do you want? As far as the settlement goes, because it's not just money. There's other shit if, uh, as far as... And then there was like, uh, what what you can talk about, what you can't talk about, what this, disparaging remarks, this, that, all kinds of horse shit. Oh, wow. Yep. Oh, you're done with it. Oh, am I done with it? You're <laughs> done with it, and they're both broke. That's why. <laughs> how, how great is that, though? All you're doing is ah. fucking living in a great house in a jacuzzi. There's always fucking yeah. broads in it. I revel. Fast forward. It's the end of October, and you're in a jacuzzi with chicks. Oh. And Dominic Barbara is on is that News the Garden yeah. City Hotel explaining that he wasn't happy. Dominic wasn't happy. No more ex fat pills or whatever yeah. the fuck it's called. Yeah. The ex is hopping on the back of a, some Hells Angels bike. Yeah. Oh, great. You're absolutely right. Okay. And you're All just right. sitting there playing poker and that. <laughs> banging chicks and. Yeah. Yeah. That was terrible. Fucking waving that big cock around yeah. in every room in the house. <laughs> every room in that. <laughs> Is that what I do? People tripping over it. Yeah. I love the I love the perception of my house. I remember one time I went to Ann's house and I was like, why do you have that fucking 50 cal on the table? It's just this big cock <laughs> laying there in between the hors d'oeuvres. People didn't even notice it after I a wish while. I, I wish I remembered that. Yeah. yeah you were drinking. <laughs> oh, well, that explains it. <laughs>